Hey, how are things? So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the speed drills that I do. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions off young rugby players and um, a couple other people about what kind of speed drills would be good to do. And I'm not saying straight away that these are the right ones to be doing, but these are the ones I've always done um, all the way up through my career. Um, when I sprinted internationally and now playing rugby, I'm playing rugby sevens. These are the ones I've stuck to and I felt have worked best for me. In relation to speed and getting faster, I get asked this question all the time. How do I get faster? And I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not naturally fast like compared to some of the other lads on the team, other lads I've come up against. And the way I've kind of managed to hold my own is that I've worked a lot on my technique and ripping out drills. And um, so the thing with getting faster is it takes a long time. It's not an overnight fix, so you have to rep out your technique. Your technique is the most vital if you're not one of those naturally fast lads. And then just repping that out and moving properly and moving efficiently. You probably wonder what I'm wearing now. This is a uh, a GPS vest, so. A lot of people who don't know sport think, would say, say this is a sports bra, but the GPS vest of a GPS in here, so it tracks um, tracks everything I do, uh, how fast I'm moving, how far I'm moving, all that kind of stuff. So that's what this is. And just before we start the drills now, I'm going to give you some cues to always think about when you're doing speed drills. So the first one I say is zip up. So as if you're wearing a jacket. So you're wearing a jacket and you want to zip it up and be in a good position. So you want your upper body relaxed, your shoulders down, not up and crunched up here. You want to up and relax, you want to zip up to have your core engaged. Not overly tense, but just engaged. And what you want is your hips high. You don't want them sagging or going to the sides. You want them high and true. As if you're wearing a belt buckle, just push that belt buckle out. Be proud, be in a proud position. And then what you want to do then is imagine you have, say a bell on, underneath your bum. And what you want to do is ring that bell with your heel. You want your foot to come up in here, not out here or behind. You want to come up in here and every time it's coming up, it's ringing the bell. And then what you want then with your foot position is a neutral loaded foot. So you see the way my foot is pulled up towards my face here. It's not lagging down or to the side or anything like that. It's loaded in a neutral position as if you're ready to fire a gun. So once this hits the ground, your foot comes up, rings the bell and it fires and comes back down. And one other thing, so when you have, you're zipped up, you've relaxed upper body, you have an engaged core, your hips are high and true, you're ringing the bell and you have your loaded foot, what you want is your body weight to be slightly just le leaning forward, not backwards or not straight up, just ever so slightly leaning forwards and then all your movement's gonna just go in the right direction rather than you working and all your work's just going back here or straight up, you want all your work to be going, pushing you forward. Okay, so there are all the cues, try to remember them, but you'll get it naturally over time. So the first drill we're gonna do it is just a sprinting walk. It's just to cue the body into moving fast and being in the right position. So um, I'll show you that now. The next drill I do are just skips, normal skips. The next one I do are called two one twos. The next one I do is just single leg A run. Then after single leg A run, on each leg obviously, I go into just normal A run. Also known as your simple high knees, but the thing with this one is, sorry, is you're not trying to race through the drill, you're trying to get as many repetitions up and down 
in between the cones as you can. Don't race through it, okay? The next one I do is double leg hop skip. So you land with two legs, pull up one, land with two legs, pull up the other, okay? All right, the next one I do is just a jogging with a single leg rotation. So you're jogging slowly and then alternating, doing a full cycle with each leg, okay? And mimicking the sprint in motion, okay? So. After the skips, you can also do lateral skips. So you gotta be able to move laterally as well. Well, unless you're a sprinter, but on field sports, you have to be able to move laterally as well, so. And after the A run, you can also do lateral A run. Uh, another drill I do is called the karaoke, so it's another lateral movement. The last one I do to finish off, which is quite difficult to do, is you're jogging again and on every third or so step, you're doing a full cycle rotation with your leg. but. The difference to that and the other one we're doing is that this time you're landing on the same leg. So you have to get your leg around quick enough to land again and keep going. So it forces you to get that leg around and get your leg speed up, okay? So I hope that was helpful, and that you got something out of it. Once again, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but that's what I do and that's worked for me. It's got me to international sprinting, it's got me to um, surviving the seven circuit with the boys that are some extremely fast athletes and I managed to just about hold my own, so um, I must be doing something right. Try them out, uh, let me know how you get on if you do. Um, and speed isn't an overnight thing, it takes a long time to build your technique and to gradually get faster. So be patient with it, work hard, it will happen. And thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, talk to you soon, cheers.